probably two or three years doing quite a lot of depths mm -hmm. until I was almost doing more <laughs> than he was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the end, Gino said, uh, he just rang me up one day and he said, Steve, do you want to, he said, look, do you want to become mm -hmm. a permanent member of the band? And uh, and I thought about it, and I didn't have to think very long about it, really, because I, 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 I enjoy it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's good fun. They're great guys in the band. There's yeah. been quite a few personnel changes yeah. over there, but basically, myself and the drummer have uh, been stayed the same for 15 years. Oh, okay. And um, and we've got a great relationship. Jeff Hemsley, the drummer, is is just a uh, in-your-face solid, you know, um, great player, and I've enjoyed every minute of it, really. Um, Tell us about the live record. The live record, the, the, um... Yeah, well, this this was actually um, it was recorded at the, the Half Moon Putney, oh. which is is you oh, yeah. know where your mark came. Oh, and, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a venue we all love playing. Right. We really love playing there. It's a fantastic venue. Really nice people, and the crowd they know what they're getting. You know, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it, it's it's not like sort of um, you know you can do some gigs where people don't actually know what they're getting and it's, oh, I, I don't know about this, or, but they, <laughs> they, they, they know what they're getting with Gino. And um, about, um, I, I think, I think it's probably about five, six years old, that okay. uh, double album. Yeah. But the, a company called Secret Records decided they'd like to do a live album with Gino, right. which, which they did. And it, it, it really is a good representation of the band and, and, and what Gino is about and what he does because um, it, it's not been doctored in any way, shape or form. It <laughs> is as it is, as it was on the night. And, um, and it, was a, it was a good show, you know. That, um, what is it about rhythm and blues and American soul that British people just love? They went bonkers the other night with Gino. They did, yeah. They, they <laughs> went. Why, why do British people relate to this American music? Well, and I, they've I, given it back to us, really. Yeah. Well, I, I, think, I think it's because <clears throat> it's exciting. Okay. I think that's why. I, I, I think um, I think there's, in my own personal humble opinion, yeah. I think there's a lot of music about that's slightly depressing. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't uplift the soul. Right. And I, I think that um, you know all of those old stacks, Atlantic, yeah. Tamla, all, all of those, all that spirit stuff. With the spirit. It, it's 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 uplifting, and and it and it it proves that it's uplifting because if you go to any any really late night club or anything like that. They're not playing, um, you know, Oasis or anything like that. They're playing soul music. They're, they're, they're playing, you know, Wilson Pickett and James yeah, Brown. And, and it still rocks the house. And um, so for me, it, it, it's the music I've always loved most of all. And it's just stood the test of time, in, in my opinion. And, uh, and it, for a bass player, the Geno gig is fantastic because it, it, you have to be physically fit to do it. Yes. Um, and you have to be mentally right on it. Um, you cannot sort of take you your you can't take your eyes off him because uh, it's one of those gigs where he will do anything at any time, <laughs> and um, and that's what makes it fun actually. So so yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on the bass, Mr. Stevie Deuce. Yeah. 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 Yeah.